Hello and welcome. This is a Edexcel um, C3 pass paper. So just rearranging the camera slightly. Um, in this pass paper, it's not really uh, a full, um, full fat Edexcel. So just rearrange the camera. Um, it's not a full fat Edexcel one. It's um, it's off the uh, physics and maths tutor website. It's off the. I don't think it is the Solnan paper. Um, just uh, it's on the physics and maths tutor website. It's the hardest C3 paper, it's just a completion of uh, different questions, okay? So the hardest question one, two, three, four, etc. etc. Okay, so what I'm going to do is obviously I'll put the link in the description um, if you aren't following it from uh, just looking from it, you know, if you haven't just typed it up, okay? Um, so there, there will be the link in the description to uh, the page with the um, paper on it. Now I did say it was the uh, C3, the, the hardest, that is gold level 4, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, read out what year each question is from, okay? And you can have a quick look if you don't know where the paper is, if you can't follow the description, okay? Um, but you know, hopefully you're quite competent people. So the first question is from June 2007. Uh, the question is find exact solutions to the equations, and it lists two equations, obviously for 1a and 1b. 1a, it says ln x plus ln 3 is equal to ln 6. Find x. Well, quite clearly, something over 3, sorry, quite clearly, sorry, something times 3 is equal to 6. Now it's because we're using our standard log rules of logging, of, of adding two logs together, you times what's been logged, okay? So you have 3 times x, x equals 6. So therefore, you can almost eat both sides if you think of it like that. Uh, anyway, you will get 3x is equal to 6. And then it's just a case of rearranging this to get x equal to 2. Basic uh, knowledge. Really, that's just 1a. So you've noticed the hardest paper. That was a little bit of, just a bit knowledge really based that you remember it. This next one's a little bit more complicated. Okay, so what we've got here is we are e to the x plus 3e to the minus x equals 4. And we're asked to find x from that. Well, the first thing I would do, obviously, there's nothing really you can do. Maybe you could take x out, e to the x is a common factor, but that's minus e to the x, e to the minus x, right? so you couldn't do that. You might rearrange it to get e equal to zero, but we're going to do that just after we've done this first step. Okay, well, let's take two steps. The first step, anything, see, if that didn't say e to the power of negative x, if that said x to the power of negative 1, if it was 3x to the power of negative 1, what you'd want to do is to go, okay, it's 3 over x then. And you do the similar thing here, okay? So don't be put off by the fact it's to the power of negative x, okay? So essentially 1 over. Okay, so what we do is we do e to the x plus 3 over e to the x take 4 equals 0. Or you might want to put that e equal to 4 and then rearrange. But because I'm lazy, I'm going to leave it uh, like that. Now the next thing you'd want to do is, well, we don't really like this kind of fraction business here, so what we're going to do is times all of the fraction, or in, in other words, both sides, by e to the x. And when we times e to the x by e to the x, we don't get e to the x squared, because when we times uh, indices, it's the same as adding them, remember? Okay, so we get e to the 2x, and we add that to 3, take 4e to the x. Okay, and that is equal to 0. Okay, so in other words, what we've got to do now is that's almost you can it's almost like a disguise, uh, disguised quadratic. Okay, where you you imagine that e to the x is the same as x. Okay, in other words, this would be x squared plus three take four x. If if that was a situation, you would factorise it. Okay, so similar thing here. We instead of put x as a common factor in both, you put e to the x. Okay, because e to the x times e to the x is e to the two x. Okay, so e to the x, and then it's just quite clearly uh, minus 3 and minus 1, and that's all equal to 0. So therefore, e to the x is equal to 3, but e to the x is also equal to 1. But it doesn't ask for what does e to the x equal. 
Okay, what it asks for is what x equals. So what we've got to do is get x on its own here. So the only thing that we can do with this, we need something to cancel out uh, the exponential and we ln both sides. So we get x is equal to the ln of 3 and x is equal to the ln of 1. Now I think in the mark scheme it does allow you just to give them solutions. But you should know when if you tap in your calculator. Obviously, it wants it an exact solution, so there's nothing wrong with leaving it as ln one. That's perfectly acceptable. But show the examiner you're that little bit more intelligent. Um, what you should do is okay. Well, if you tap ln one into your calculator, uh, you get x to be zero. Okay, so it's x to be zero, x to be ln three, or ln one and x to be ln three. Okay, so I said it's totally up to you, um, but. You know, you should be aware that x, f, uh, the ln of 1 is equal to 0, okay, and that's because, well, this is essentially saying e to the what equals uh, 1, and obviously e to the 0 equals 1. That's kind of the principle, as I said, it's a whole industry uh, log based rule, so if you don't get what I mean by that, please do check out my C2 laws of uh, logs, okay? So, as I said, that's just a basic industry rule to do with logs, because that's what logs are, just powers. Alright, um, so... That's uh, the end of question one um, for this paper. As I said, next question we're going to be moving on looking at a little bit of uh, di differentiation, okay? And it starts to get a little bit more complicated, but not too much, especially as we can break it down into steps. But that's really the first question. It's just a case of um, rearranging it. The first one was very, very easy. Uh, the second one was a little bit more complex, having to uh, imagine um, that it is... Um, a quadratic, okay, in disguise. But as I said, really, it is all about, uh, you know, rearranging this to 3 over e to the x, and that was really the key bit uh, that enabled you to see we've got a quadratic here. Or, similarly, you could have just times it by e to the x straight away. It doesn't matter, uh, but I've just kind of portrayed it in a simple way. So thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you in the next question, hopefully.